What's up y'all? Jordan Hook here from Hook on the Fly. This is our uh, second installment in the Gearing Up series. Uh, first installment is getting selecting your rod, your reel, your line, um, what you might need. Uh, so assuming that you have all that now, um, this is going to be a very short video about how to put it together. Uh, mostly because uh, the hardest part is, is getting your reel put together and that's already uh, put together here and I don't want to take everything off the I already have the backing the, the line leader and everything um, so what I'm actually gonna do is kind of explain through it a little bit but then include some links in the video about what knots to use and um, and how to uh, to assemble everything on your reel um, but Y'all go to your fly shop. Go to your local fly shop and get it done. It's it's usually what I do. Uh, you got to buy the stuff anyway. So go in there, um, get their uh, get their opinion on on what would be good for you and the waters you're going to be fishing, and then um, get your stuff there because they'll put it on for you. They'll spool uh, your backing, attach it to your line, um, put your leader on. They will get you all kitted out. Uh, for free at your local shop um, You just go in there talk to them get the stuff you're gonna get anyway and uh, and get stoked and they'll get you taken care of So that's what I would recommend for assembly first of all um, But if you want to do it all yourself or your local fly shops closed um, I'm gonna teach you a little bit today and then uh, drop some links uh, in the description um, If you want to get more in-depth on knots and things like that for uh, assembling your reel um, But the first thing is gonna be rod assembly uh, so if we take our rod, I've got a four piece right here um, And we got if you look on there on the on the end the the ferrule there uh, That's what these are called the joints f-e-r-r-u-l-e -E, I believe they're spelled the ferrules, but uh, there's a dot there and that dot is there for a reason because there is a corresponding dot um, Where are you there you are right there? on the next piece so all you do is you take that piece right there you slide it down there until your two dots match up Let's see if those match up eh, close enough there we go yeah there we go perfect uh, yeah and that's all you do all the way up you just keep doing that and as you go up uh, to the next piece there uh, there will be another dot and then you will line that up as well and uh, Keep continuing all the way until your rod is assembled okay so now we've got our rod uh, fully assembled here uh, so the next thing we're gonna work on is the reel um, now for the reel uh, it's gonna come apart so look for a little button sometimes they have a little button um, that you click right here it actually sticks out this one is actually a depress button with the Reddington so you'll actually press this button in as you pull these two apart and that's what we got it comes off in two pieces and that way you'll be able to wrap uh, uninhibited here so I'm just gonna set this aside for now and we're gonna we're gonna look in here um, so this will be obviously empty when you start and you're gonna wrap your backing uh, first with an arbor knot you'll you'll attach your backing to your reel with an arbor knot and again I'm gonna include a link uh, Simon Gosworth from Rio does a great uh, video on how to do the arbor knot specifically to attach your backing to your reel so check the description for that um, and then uh, you can use an Albright knot I'll also drop another video link in the description for an Albright knot specifically to attach your backing to uh, your fly line so assuming that you have wrapped your backing onto your spool here um, with the arbor knot and then you got the Albright knot to attach the uh, the backing to your fly line um, now you're all wrapped up and you can put it back together again because we'll do the leader last all right guys, now we're ready to attach our leader onto our fly line here. Um, I'm just using a piece of twine. Uh, hopefully it's a little bit easier for you guys to see um, when we attach it. But uh, most leaders and most fly lines nowadays are gonna come with a loop already tied in the end of each. Um, it makes it a lot easier. And uh, I'm gonna assume that your fly line and your leader 
uh, both have loops in them already. If they don't, you're gonna need to tie what's called a perfection loop knot. Um, that's what I've tied right here in this twine. Uh, it's a good knot to know, and Brian Fleishing from Mad River Outfitters does a great tutorial video on tying the perfection loop. So I'm gonna drop a link to his video uh, here in the description for mine. But um, let's get right to it. So you're actually going to take your fly line here, and you're gonna just stick the loop through the loop of the leader there like that. Then once you have stuck the fly line through, I'll pinch on there, and then I'm going to feed my leader through the loop of the fly line. And then I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna slowly pull the rest of it through. And once I pull the rest of the leader through like that, uh, I can let go with my fingers here and then pull them tight and it has a nice solid seated knot right there. And that is gonna hold you. Because next, all you have to do is put your reel. Uh, I'm gonna use this one that's laying here. Um, and if you notice, there's some little uh, openings right up here on the seat uh, of your rod. And so what you're gonna do is, is make sure these are unscrewed all the way to the bottom. That's down to give you enough room. And there will be a corresponding there be a corresponding uh, opening in this bottom piece, and there's an opening in the top right there. So those are what you wanna line up. And first of all, remember you're gonna be fishing like this, and I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna hold the rod in my right hand and reel with my left. Uh, but if you're left-handed, it's gonna be the opposite. So I'm doing this as if I'm a right-handed fisherman. So I'm gonna turn it over, I'm gonna slide the reel inside there, and then you wanna match it up right there so that it sits in nice and locked in there tight and then once it is then you can tighten up uh, both of these right here it's easier to go one at a time uh, that there that there uh, and now you're all set now you're ready to go um, so next video we're going to talk a little bit about uh, flies and then we're going to talk in the next video uh, about accessories. Um, but now you should be fully assembled. Again, I uh, hope this helped out. Um, and definitely check out the links below uh, by those that know a lot more than I do. And get in your local fly shop. Uh, they'll be super stoked to, uh, to help you out and get you set up and uh, get you out on the river. All right, I'll see you guys next for getting geared up.